Hey, Mike from Build It Tuned EV here, also known as UpgradeMyEbike.com. Today we have a Super 73 RX up here. Um, this will also fit for the S2, the R, and the RX. Um, any of those variants, the different uh, color schemes and so forth. Um, this is for the guys that have a trailer or anything that they like a tow behind for their bike. So if you're not in a towing with your Super 73, this won't be a video for you. Um, but if you are, what we've done is we took our upgraded torque plates and we've incorporated it in the trailer mount. So without further ado, this guy right here. If you've ever had a tow behind for your bike, this looks very familiar. You're used to this pin, which a sleeve goes over with the cotter pin, bolts to your bike, and it flops around, loosens up all the time. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So the first problem, if uh, when you receive one of these and you wanna put it on your bike, is where are you gonna put it? So the first logical place is everybody loosens up the axle nut and they wanna put it there. Problem number one, it's the wrong size. Well, that's a pretty easy solution. We'll just drill it out. Once you drill it out, now the depth is no longer correct because this is so thick and you have to keep the torque plate in. So now you have about half engagement. So the next solution is to what, remove the torque plate. When you remove the torque plate, this is the only thing that allows the axle to stop rotating in here besides just sitting in there. So this is the secondary system they have to keep the axle lined up and removing it is going to you know, remove some of the strength. But by doing so, you do now get enough engagement but you're on to the next problem. The next problem is that uh, once you get this tightened up in there, there's nothing in the back side of this. There's no lock washer, nothing like that. As you can see, the factory has a lock washer built into that. It's got this serrated edge that locks it in place. So once you remove that, right, so you've drilled this out, it's in place. Now what happens is once this moves from, you know, riding and hitting bumps, it starts to loosen up your axle. So now the axle gets loosened up. You run the risk of bending the axle, twisting the axle, coming loose in this dropout, tearing it up. So it's not a good time. So what we did is we took our torque arms that we've recently designed and we came up with a variant that allows for this. Cause I made a Facebook post. I asked if guys were towing with them and it seemed like quite a bit were. So I thought this would be a good solution to make it safer for you guys and that you can enjoy it a little bit more risk-free. So in order to install this, this is the plate. This is a variant, there's some pins here that are not in place, but as you can see, there's dowel pins in the back of it. And what this is, is our torque plate, plus, like I said, a trailer mount. In order to install this, we're just gonna go ahead and take off the axle nut, which we've already done. Take these off here, which new bolts are included. Get this loosened up. All right, so now we have the two factory bolts off, the axle nut, and the factory torque plate. There you go. That's what's removed. It's that simple. You take the new one supplied in the kit, slide it over the axle. It's a very tight fit. You get it lined up, and you'll feel it kind of click into place. Once it's in the place, you just go ahead and hand tighten on the axle nut. Then take the bolts provided in the kit. There's gonna be two of these here. Push it into place, go ahead and thread it in. You can just hand tighten it for right now. Grab the second one. So now you have a quarter inch plate for the torque arm, which is keeping the axle in place, giving you much stronger torque plates. It's distributing the load on both sides of the swing arm. It's got the dowel pins, it's got these two longer bolts that are tying into the factory dropout plate. So it's sandwiching it between. So you've now created the, a very strong point here for this uh, tie-in. And then all you have to do now is take the supplied bolt, thread it into your trailer mount. Now this threads into the back of it, which will be a shorter bolt. This is just the uh, one I had laying around. And then, you get this where you want it and tighten it down. And now you have your motor still locked in exactly how it should be. It's nice and tight. You got an additional torque plate. You got the additional dowel pins. This is all tying it together, sandwiching it in. This is a quarter inch plate steel plate, so you don't have to worry about this bending. You'll be fine. 
and everything is tied in. It's a nice strong joint. You don't have to worry about the axle coming loose in the future. Um, and then if you were worried about it coming loose here, it comes with a nylon locking nut in the back. You just tighten this down in the back side of it and that locks it into place so that your axle or your trailer mount will stay in place. And it's easy so when, when you're done, you can just simply remove it. It doesn't have to be there. And again, it won't be so long. And it doesn't have to be there whatsoever. A couple other cool uses for this that uh, we can kind of make if somebody needs it. Anybody that's looking for a nice flag mount, uh, we can actually make a nice flag mount right here to bolt up there so you can you know get it up very high and see it. Uh, maybe reflectors or uh, even a license plate mount. So anything that you guys can think of, we got some room in the back here to tie it in and it'll be a nice, very strong point on the bike. So if you guys are looking to secure your trailer, have a better mounting system, one that's a little bit more reliable and stress-free, uh, check out our website. And uh, if there's anything you guys want to see made, just let us know and we'll look into getting it done.